Today in Flanders Fields. Lieutenant Colonel John McCrae, MD, joined Canada's troops fighting in the Great War, the war to end all wars, which we now call World War I. In May of 1915, in Ypres, Belgium, his friend, Lieutenant Helmer, was killed in battle. The next day, McCrae wrote what quickly became the most popular poem of its era, In Flanders Fields. It begins, In Flanders Fields the poppies blow, Between the crosses, row on row, That mark our place. I'm sure many of you can recite the rest from memory. This poem first appeared in the British magazine Punch in December of 1915, and by 1920, at least 55 composers had set it to music. I will not be singing all 55 today. Now, are you wearing a red poppy today? That tradition was started by an American professor, Miss Moina Michael, at the University of Georgia. The American Legion adopted the poppy as a sign of remembrance, and in 1921, the first poppies were sold in London. McCrae originally wrote, In Flanders Fields the Poppies Grow, which you'll hear in Lieutenant John Philip Sousa's setting. The editors at Punch, though, didn't like having grow at the beginning and the end of the poem, so McCrae allowed them to end the first line with blow. In 2001, the Bank of Canada issued a new design for the $10 bill. They used part of the poem. They ended the first line with blow, which caused a great uproar from those who insisted it should be grow. And now, John Philip Sousa's setting of McRae's In Flanders Field. Flanders fields, the poppies grow. The poppies grow. The poppies grow. Between the crosses, row on row. Row on row. That mark our place. And in the sky, the larks still bravely singing fly, scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead. Those days ago we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields, in Flanders fields. us who die, we shall not sleep, the poppies grow. 